Oh my gosh, I called it. What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to Mashoku Tensei Season 2, Episode 16, called Norn and Aisha. If you like the video, smash the like. Let's just jump straight into this. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I called it. <laughs> I don't even want to bring up Mystic Mike at this point, bro. Rujed. Did I not say that at the end of the last episode? Damn. Dude. Rujed. Huge. This is massive. I spent a couple years in the southern jungles. Oh, East Port, where I met your father. So Ginger and I volunteered. Crazy, Roger and... Oh. Yeah, Roxy said stay away from them at all costs. I wonder if he's gonna ask about Eris. That would be crazy. What did we used to talk about? Oh my gosh. You see, even his hands, like... Like, the PTSD. I'm sure she doesn't hate you. Dude. <laughs> Wow, maybe you misunderstood her. I went through three years of hell. Dude, Rujed was always the one who was like, you know, understood things the best. And Eris was never good with words. Keep calm and talk things out. Dude, I don't know what will happen to Rudy if he sees Eris. What are they doing here? Oh wow, some type of standoff between Badagadi and Rujet. So that's how things are. Wow, the lapless war. Haven't heard that in a long time. At least eat breakfast first. Oh, so they're like... Something obviously happened outside and even did damage to the top of the house. Unless that was snow that fell. I always found it so funny how like Aisha was wearing like the maid outfit. You know, even when she was like young already. But it's it's Norn who hates Rudus, basically. He hit that. Oh, yeah, from back there. <laughs> the woman with him isn't the same as last time. Oh, yeah, Bro. Rujed is such a good character in this whole show. I was expecting to see more of him. I didn't see that coming. What? All that golden treasure. 
通は以前届いたのと同じだな。もう一通には二人を学校に通わせなさいって。Send them to school。私も学校で習うことなんてないよ。<笑> Has nothing left to teach me。じゃあのお世話がしたい。前に約束したじゃん。ほら、あの時のだっていつも思ってるんだよ。<笑>じゃあ。せめて魔法大学の試験を受けてみてくれ。その結果。わお。The university already。はい。わかりました。ノルも一応試験を受けてみようか。<笑><笑>でも私、試験落ちるかもしれないし。あの学校はお金があれば誰でも入学。The university will take anyone who can pay。ここまでして学校行きたくない。別にお金で無理やり入学させてもらおうってわけじゃなくて。ちょっとノルね。お兄ちゃんになんて口聞いてるの<笑>って聞いたでしょお金でなんとかしようなんて。ワンスソーブ、エブリティングウィズマーニー。まだ話し終わってないよ。うるさい。おまいガーシー。These two sisters are crazy. 聞き分けのない子供って嫌だよね。コンスタンキッズウォンレッスン。But she herself is a kid. ノルに対して勉強できないとか、肉出すようなことを言うのはやめなさい。だって。ノルネ頑張ってないんだもん。お前から見ればそうかもしれないけど。She's doing the best she can. 頑張ってるんだよ。Cause I mean, think about it. Zenith is still gone. And how long has it been? アイシャは学校に行かず、うちのメイドになりたいらしい。どう思うアイシャを学校に通わせ、可能性を示してやるのが仕事なのではないだろうか。アイシャちゃんは多分、ルディが考えてるより優秀な子だよ。きっと学校に行っても行かなくても彼女はうまくやると思うよだからあれこれ考えずやりたいことをやる Remember Aisha was like when they were in that other town like think about how clever she was even dealing with those scumbags 僕らがちゃんと面倒を見てあげないとねなんかシルフィーが頼もしいなまるでフィッツ先輩のようだ She's almost like Master Fitz <laughs> そうなこと言っちゃったかな。いや、助かったよ。少し整理できた。うん、困った時は。We've got to bail each other out。夫婦だし。はい。じゃーん。まさか満点。The perfect school。Wow。試験の結果で考えるってお兄ちゃん言ったもんね。わかった。仕事の方はシルフィーと相談して決めてくれ。やった。まさか。Dude, she's so smart. 妹メイドの誕生である。最も年齢的平均をやや下回る。Just a little below average. ノルはどこの学科に入りたい私、寮で暮らしてる。I want to try living in the dorms. Oh, she doesn't even want to be there. Crazy. 寮暮らしか。ダメだよお父さんはお兄ちゃんと一緒に暮らせって言ってたもん。わかった。じゃあ。Wow, you can live in the dorms. Wow, you're giving no one special treatment because my mom is a concubine. Crazy. No one's grandma. Wow. リーリアさんを見かけたなんて思ってないし、お前とノルンは両方とも同じ妹だと思っている。But who's the grandmother? I don't think we've ever met the grandmother, but that might be like Paul's mom. I guess, like, it's called the university, but anybody can literally enroll. Because I think Eris was like kind of young when she got sent there. Wasn't that the original plan? And now she's not making friends as well. Damn, it's already been a month. We've got a present to cheer you up. Took us a whole month to get ready. Wow, 
Better not be mice or something. <laughs> Luke. The student council office. I've been looking for trouble lately. Oh, maybe it's his sister. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. And he has the bag. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude. Guy's been framed. <laughs> I got this bag from them this morning. Were they acting on your orders? <laughs> Bro got called into like the principal's office. <laughs> oh my gosh. Leading a pack. Oh, so maybe Ariel is gonna like take her under her wing, basically. <laughs> Almost took the fall for the stunt you pulled. Oh my gosh, they, she overheard. <laughs> what a charming girl. <laughs> I mean, the biggest thing is going to be like if they can get Zenith back, which is kind of crazy because like she hasn't even been mentioned in like a few episodes. Like they mentioned her in like the first half of season two, but now it's kind of like, you know, what is she even up to at this point? And any person would be like this if their mom was still missing. Yeah, Mashoka Tensei. Um, so yeah, there we saw like the dynamic between the sisters, you know. I mean, we saw it before with Aisha where we were like, oh, okay. You know, she's very like street smart already. Especially dealing with that whole situation where they had um, her mom captured at the castle. But um, Norn, once again, you know, she's actually like Rudis's real sister, you know same mom same dad but i mean it's obviously like it's understandable that she would be like that you know you don't know where your mom is now it's almost like people are telling you just carry on with things it's like oh go to school now and it's like oh but look my mom is missing all these moments in my life so it's definitely a big factor like i said i'm gonna be straight up honest like i said i don't know where they're going with this like season if the if this is how it's gonna play out and then at the end of the season maybe they'll give us something something big you know just to like to make us look forward to like season three then that's okay um it doesn't really matter you know i think what it is is that just in the fact it was like season one around this time things were really crazy you know you had the dragon god orsted you know we had like eris um becoming such a skilled fighter you had rudis learning all these things so it's like it was very much on this big high but if they have decided to slow things down completely for this whole season then you know what it is what it is but um it's going to be interesting to see 
where they actually take it from here. You know, like I said, Rudis's house is just a magnet for everybody to be meeting. We also saw something there between Baragadi and Rujed. Awesome to see Rujed again, even though it was like not for that long. But I'm sure he will um, be back, right? I think they just showed him to remind us of the character. Bring him back for a big moment if they do have one. But yeah, um, not much else happening in the episode. Uh, that's going to be it for me. If you liked the episode, smash the like button and leave a comment if you want to. But hit that notification bell as well because, you know, I'm releasing every single day of the week. I'll leave the last episode right up over here. Thanks for watching. If you're watching, I'm out. Peace. In a bit.